Salutations, my name is Summer, and this is Rollo. This is Sterling Reads. Now there's hair everywhere. I just wanted to um, update you guys where I, what I've read and um, you know how I've been. I'd love to hear how you guys have been doing and what you've been reading. Here he comes again. Okay, so I did finish The Ichabog by J.K. Rowling. <clears throat> there were things that I really liked about it. There were things that I did not like. Um, and there were, there were things that I was surprised by. Rollo, I'm telling you, he is silly, silly. Okay, so that got finished. Um, I also listened to the audiobook Choke by Chuck Palahniuk. Guys, I don't know how many of you have read anything by him, but this is my first. It was so, I was always like in my head trying to figure out what he was, oh my goodness. Rolo is like so cute. I wish you could like see how cute he is. Oh, there he is. He is precious, but he's rotten. Like he won't leave me alone once he starts. Um, okay, so anyway, I was in my head so much uh, I couldn't listen to it too much because of my like mental health of trying to figure this all out and feeling so sorry for this man and um, like what he went through with his childhood and how he felt about himself. Sorry, his tail. It's like he's a whippoorwill. Hey, can we settle? Anyway, <clears throat> so I finished listening to that. I also on ebook. Well, I'll just come, just come here, just come here. Um, also on ebook, I read My Policeman by Bethan, is it Roberts? Yeah, Roberts. Guys, so this was recommended to me by a friend at work and she loved it. I have issues with relationships where one of the person, loves the other and the other may love them but they really want to be with somebody else so they they like cheat and they are with somebody else like I have a hard time um reading that kind of stuff so I wasn't I roll low I wasn't and I got hair all over me I wasn't come here nope he's like Venture just like laying down behind me but and so Anyway, but he's being so rowdy. Um, God, and I can't even think of what I was saying now because he keeps doing this. He keeps like going around in a circle. He's going to drive me fatty. Um, okay, get down. There we go. Focus, focus. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the whole relationship thing. So I was not a fan of my policeman. If I see them, I don't even know. I don't have time. I don't think I'll watch the show. There were some very good, like, intimate parts that I enjoyed. Um, but besides that, I just was feeling bad for the wife the whole time. That she was in this room. That she loved this man who loved somebody else. So, and was with somebody else most of the time. All right. So something that I read that I absolutely loved, I went to, I spent the first, the beginning of the month so sick. I don't know if I've ever been so sick. I had a fever for six days and I was just, it was horrible. Like I don't, anyway, you guys know, you guys, I'm sure you guys have all been sick with like fever and with aches and you just stay in bed for days and days and days. Um, that's how I was. So nothing got done. Um, but after I was feeling better, oh my goodness, hair is, it's ridiculous right now. If you guys have animals, you know. Um, anyway, I picked up The Jesus Cow by Michael Perry. Absolutely love this book. This is the prologue. <clears throat> On Christmas Eve itself, the bachelor Harley Jackson stepped into his barn and beheld there... <laughs> Eliminate, illuminated in the straw, a smallish newborn bull calf whose flank 
was born the very image of our Lord Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, said Harley, that's trouble. So uh, that's just how it begins. And it's hilarious. It's heartwarming. It's small town. It's got like relationships that it's dealing with. Um, it's so good. The only thing I would, I wish it would have left open ended instead of him trying to tie everything up because he tries to like put everybody in a box and that just doesn't work. He tries, yeah, anyway. Um, but it's so good. Great book. Um, okay, so when I was really sick, I picked up Wool again. Um, and then I thought I'll get the audiobook because I had this headache and I couldn't read, but I wanted to hear a story. I kept falling asleep. So audiobook did not work at all on this. So I didn't really get much ahead because I just had to keep going back because I couldn't remember anything. So yeah, I'm only on page uh, 78, chapter 11 of Wool. And look at that. This is from where it was on the bed and I, anyway, yeah, this poor book. So yeah, I do hope to get back to that. Um, my main focus in reading right now has been The Fountainhead by Anne Rand. And I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the characters. Um, I'm, I think, going to, yeah, page 250, part two, chapter six. Uh, it's very good. I'm enjoying her. I mean, I've heard a lot of people don't like her, but uh, this is the first thing I've ever read by her, and I am really enjoying the characters. Um, you know, and everything is complicated, right? So I just read a rape scene, and uh, I don't, I'm not even going to get into it, but the thing is, is that everybody wants everything to be black and white all the time, and that's not how humans are. The human experience we are so complicated with our emotions and why we feel something and whether it's wrong or right. And my goodness, as humans, don't we do so much wrong? Um, and then later, as we get older, we realize things that we did that we just didn't know any better. But anyway, um, I'm really enjoying this book. And I'm going to be continuing on. For my birthday, I was gifted James. So thank you so much, Nathan. Um, and I'm going to have to like vacuum and stuff. This hair is unbelievable right now. Um, this is by Percival Everett. And it said it won the Pulitzer Prize. Um, but this wasn't, like, I hadn't even heard of this. This is a retelling of um, Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn adventures. And this is about Jim, the slave. Uh which is a great idea. Uh, I, I like retellings um, of anything, pretty much. So, especially when I know the story, but I have not read Mark Twain at all for years and years. And I was, I was thinking about him a couple months ago, thinking I need to pick something up to get back into his, I love his writing. I think he's very funny um, and clever. But yeah, anyway, but I, so I kind of like held off thinking I would wait to read the other, but I'm not going to. And I'm on chapter six, page 48, and really enjoying it. <clears throat> A book that um, I just got in from the library. I only read like the first page of it, and it's one of those books, I don't know. I, you know how you get a bunch of books from the library and you're like, mm, this one I'm going to read just a couple pages and see how I like it. Well, this is called The One Way Bridge by Kathy Peltier, maybe. Um, I love how it has a little map of this small town. And it's in Maine. And the first chapter, like, I, I don't know, it just kind of feels magical to me. Uh, chapter one, Monday afternoon. There is something in the northern Maine air that speaks of the first snowfall hours before it arrives. This is the same knowledge that birds find in those minutes before a rainstorm, or the tremor that rabbits feel in their paws before the quake. Snow has a way of talking, if you know how to listen. Billy Thunder, who was from downstate and therefore an outsider, heard it first that autumn. 
so that makes me like excited <laughs> just how I don't know and it's I mean we're going into May so I don't know why I want to read about snow but I, I do anyway um those are things that I'm wanting to be reading and working on hopefully I will have a buddy read in May I do not know what we will be reading uh, I haven't had a buddy read with this booktuber in months and months it seems like and he's always so busy so um but yeah he mentioned it and I, I feel like it would be a great time to have one hopefully <laughs> after I failed everything else the past couple of months um anyway I hope you guys are all doing well I'd love to know what you're reading um I've been super stressed at my job I have to go in tonight and work 14 hours and I do not know how mentally I'm going to be able to handle it, but I will, I will get through it. You guys, I'm sure you guys have stressful jobs too, or you have had if you're not in one right now. And you know, you just gotta get through it. And, uh, and jobs go in cycles. Like sometimes you love your job, sometimes you can't stand your job. <laughs> I think that's how it is with most jobs. Very few people I think are lucky to find a job that they enjoy or find rewarding all the time, you know? But if you have one, let me know because I'd love to hear uh, something positive about people loving what they do. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful end of your April and I will talk to you soon. Bye.